Good morning, this is Lance Johns. I did a story about these people the other day, but uh, this group, um, this group, um, I don't know if it was everybody, but I I know uh, it's showing Richard Manning, he appeared in court at the Regional Justice Center in Las Vegas. And Devin Campbell appeared in court, I guess. Yeah, one of twenty-three people charged in the in the sweep sweep indictment appeared in court at the regional justice center. And uh, these people are part of the Aryan Nation, a group that that is filled with hate. They they do bad things. They they harm people because they're not white, I guess. And they and they, they do bad things. But I'm going to read the story. Okay, two years after Anthony Williams was suspected of helping a fellow inmate stab another man to death in prison, he was freed from, from high desert state prison without facing criminal charges and killing. Been two months released in May 2008. His reputation member of the Aryan, you know, nation. Led a spree of armed robberies that stretched from Lafayette to Northwest Las Vegas. But not until last week, more than half a year after, one second. Well, one year after Williams, who goes by the nickname Muggsy, had to had a head of face club of tattoos, had been tried, had been tried convicted of robberies. The prosecutor perfectly linked him and other men to slaying a 20 year old Andrew Thuggood. They basically said this guy should never came out of prison to commit more crimes and violence. Said Robert Langford, a long time criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor. Authorities won't say why it took took uh, more than three years to charge Williams a thirty year with felony conviction dating back to two thousand one and Terry Tork Goy Cho Echea or Kia I don't say, I don't know how he said in the in the February two twenty sixth death of Thugger who was serving a time in prison for attempted possession of stolen vehicles. A federal lawsuit was filed last year by Thurgood family states that he was stabbed 50 times inside a locked cell with Williams and Go- Goyko at Chia. I don't know how you say it, Akia, how you say it. After the, ki- the killing, it pressed a, a call button, it pressed a call button and told correction officer that a man down according to the lawsuit. An officer opened to the cell electronically before Williams and Cochia dragged Douglas' body on a tear and gave each other a high five. The loss of led and that officer intentionally delayed in responding to Andrew's condition, allowed Andrew to bleed out on the floor. Like we said, the Attorney General Office, which had jurisdiction over state run facilities, Will typically investigate killing behind bars and could refer to find their local district attorney office for prosecution. But this case was referred to the Clark County District uh, Attorney Office. But they wanted to pursue this as, as part of a large racketeering case. Spokesman Monica Moses wrote, as both, as both our officers maintain uh, concurrent judicial prison cases in order not to implead our prosecution of a larger case, our officers cooperated with this request and offered up all the information that we had collected at this time. District Attorney Steve Wilson did not respond to requests for comment. Williams spent time in and out of Nevada's pr- prisons in and out of Nevada prison for for minute for 
for various reasons, different reasons. Well, for di for various family reasons, before his dash of freedom. Okay, in one robbery, Tyler Williams, a 70-year-old service worker at the Harris Casino in Lavender, was leaving work one night in the middle of July 2018. In her car, a man rushed up behind her, shoved her in the garage door, grabbed her purse, and took off. Okay, Williams was convicted after doing that crime. And, and he was caught with, with the woman's uh, wallet. And um, a social security card and he had, and had counterfeit bills. At his sentencing in May, 10 months after he was released from High Desert Chief Deputy District Attorney, Elizabeth Mercy said he had been placed in isolation for seven months in connection with Douglas' death. After he was convicted, the prosecutor had a weeds were called with a list of names and personal identification information of robbery victims and witnesses. Oh, okay. Basically, they say he kept the information in case he wanted to go after them after the fact. Uh. But District Judge William kept uh, kept kept uh for it. Yeah, kept for it. He ordered William to serve a life sentence. A life sentence, but behind huh, bars without no possibility of parole. But Williams is appealing this conviction. Langford suggests that the threat of civil litigation could have played a role in the decision to hold back criminal charges at Douglas' death. Absent some other good reason, they just, just to me, it sounds like we were trying to cover up and minimize the state exposure. Civil liability, Langford said, this is, this is pretty reprehensive. Okay, and then this story is also tied just to. One of the uh, suspects in this uh, Aaron, uh, you know, um, spree, uh, I guess like spree or whatever you call it, when, when they caught all of them, or whatever. Uh, Christopher Bowingo asked off appearance Thursday at arrangement for him and others in the regional justice court. Okay. This story saying that more, well, thir it said more than that, but it's 13, you know, tied to this violent rice, white supremacist prison gang in Nevada face judgment Thursday. In a indictment uh, unsealed last week, prosecutor charged 23 people with more than 150 counts ranging from murder to robbery to drug trafficking to racketeering. 13 other defendants are being held at Clark County Detention Center. Appeared briefly before Judge Douglas Herodin in a courtroom packed with law enforcement officers and several family members. All three of the family members, all three of those indicted already are behind bars in what is called a Drug Enforcement Administration, a major investigation taken out of the Aryan Warriors Gang in Las Vegas. I guess uh, this month along August, the Clark County Gang Task Force with representatives from the DEA, Department of Homeland Security, and the Clark County District Attorney Office, the Metro Island Police Union, the North Las Vegas Police, the U.S. Marshal, the Nine County Sheriff, and the Nevada Department of Corrections seized seven guns, two bulletproof vests, a stolen trailer, three stolen motorcycles, four fake IDs, Four fake ID identification labs, methamphetamine, heroin, and nice hundred dollars in cash. This is basically the same story I did. Okay. I don't want to go too much in this, but I, I said this already. Okay, they appeared in court. Okay, two of these people, Devin Soup Campbell and Christopher Booker Ashoff, have been tied to a pair of killings in Las Vegas that occurred on the same day earlier this year. 
Campbell and Ashton plead not guilty of murder and racketeering charges on Thursday. The defense attorney, Mace Yelposki, uh, who uh, represented uh, who represented Ashraf, he said he hoped to take the case to trial within 60 days. Uh, the lawyer said he don't believe he was a survivor in racketeering. And then Alan Butcher, who represented Campbell, suggested that he could seek a new, new uh, he should seek a new lo he should seek a new location somewhere else to have trial. Okay, let me just read it real quick. This unprecedented, unprecedented, overwhelming show of law enforcement, law, law enforcement, damn. <clears throat> Coupled with the media, it's occurring to me if we do this, it's creating issues for a possible necess necessity. I'm reading too fast for a venue motion. I never seen anything like this. We got, like, the army here. When the four murder counts charging. In a 2016 killing inside a high desert state prison in Springs. Okay, the, the diamond stems from a 2016 killing inside a high desert state prison in Springs. Andrew Thurgood, who I talked about in the other article, who was serving time in prison for attempted possession of a stolen vehicle, was fatally stabbed during a fight with two other inmates. Christopher said this time. Yeah, that's what I mentioned before. Anthony Muggs Williams and, and Tariq Tork Goyko Koed Kia Chia are charged in indictment with murder and conspiracy to commit murder and Thurgood's death. They not they did not make court appearances on Thursday. Okay. So these people appeared in court. Well, not the other two, I, I guess, is what they're saying. But these people appeared in court, and I hope these people get what they deserve because they shouldn't be going around doing stuff, doing stupid stuff and doing stuff because people are not white, just doing race, racial, racially stuff. And anybody can be in a gang, no matter what color you are, anybody can be in a gang. But hopefully these people will get what they deserve and uh, sorry that people had to lose their life over these people being stupid but what these people are racist or not they don't deserve to lose their life like that but anyway uh, I'm going to end this uh, just wish people would stop being racist but I know that's not going to happen but it's crazy but like share subscribe these stories make me sick thanks for listening have a good night and let me get home.